Change your life. Hi. Hello, Renegades. I'm Heidi, and welcome back. Uh, today, I will be playing the solo mode for Bargain Quest, a game that you maybe have heard of, and, you know, might have heard of because you a familiar face created it. Our own Jonathan Ying, uh, who's also the creator of Power Rangers. So if you like that game, you might enjoy Bargain Quest. It's very different, which is really cool. Um, and yeah, today I'm playing the solo mode. So that is an expansion that comes in this little uh, case here. Uh, it's 20 cards, and basically I've got my shop that I'm trying to run, trying to sell some things to heroes to help them defeat monsters, and I have a rival uh, shop next door, and that's made up of this 20 card uh, competitor deck, and they're going to be also helping heroes uh, save the day as well, and competing with me uh, to do that. So this is the little box here, it comes with a little rule uh, sheet which has just some variations on the regular rules that we'll be playing, um, but I'll go over those as we go. Otherwise, that's basically it to start out so we can jump right in. And I've got Desiree here with me too, so I'm not all alone. Hello, and Victoria is gonna be in chat. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else. <laughs> oh, for some reason it's not, it's not streaming on Twitch. Technical difficulties. Um, what's going hmm. on? It says it's still connecting. Huh. So maybe you can see us. On Facebook it's connected, okay, cool. and YouTube's connected. Huh. Twitch. So what I don't know what's going on with Twitch. Oh, Desiree is working on it, trying to get that to work out. I'll hold until, uh, until we get a cue. Maybe Twitch is back up and running. Yeah, I don't know why it's not. Hmm. It wouldn't be a live stream with me if <laughs> something didn't go wrong. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it's always me. No, when I'm alone. It's not just you. But only when I'm solo. If there's other folks here, like Power Rangers, it's fine. No issues there. Hmm. I don't know why this is not. Also, if you hear light rain noises, <laughs> it's quite rainy today. So, sorry for that weird California rain. Who knew? What's going on? Oh, big sigh from Desiree. Uh oh. Well, I'm trying to just see why it would be doing. Let's see, let's see, oh, let's see. Live streaming. Full of fun, different things. Unexpected twists and turns. <laughs> I don't know if I should go over my starting setup or should I hold to like do that. Well, I don't know what's going on with Twitch because everything else is connecting. Hmm. I don't know if Twitch. Oh, oh, oh. we're up! Oh, yay! yay! <laughs> All right, hello Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> we are finally on Twitch now. Um, if you missed the start of this. Uh, and sorry to folks who maybe were already with us on Facebook and other platforms, but once again, I'm Heidi. Hello, Renegades. Today we're playing Bargain Quest, which is a game by Jonathan Ying, who you may, you know, know. He sits with us here at the table sometimes in this exact spot, and we play Power Rangers. He is the creator of this game and Power Rangers. Um, so and I'm very excited to play. We are doing the solo mode. Uh, just to recap that for anybody on Twitch maybe joining us now. Um, and the solo mode is a little deck of cards. It's a... Uh, 20 cards here and a little rule uh, pamphlet, basically. Um, and it's a way for me to play Bargain Quest solo, which growing up I love solitaire, so this is cool. Um, basically, I'll have my own shop that I'll be selling uh, different trinkets and knickknacks and weapons to heroes uh, with, and then I will have a rival shop, which is made up of this competitor deck that is in the expansion, um, and they'll be uh, also trying to sell to these heroes as well. Um, that's basically it for jumping into it. For the starting layout here, it's pretty similar. Um, I've got my uh, shop right here. We've got our upgrades, item deck, heroes, and we've got a monster, which we'll show right now. We're gonna play the basic uh, monster. So we've got the bandit captain. Um, so uh, they, uh, their skill is extortion. So after the adventure step, the player or player's player. Um, with the most uh, stars, which is always going to be me, loses <laughs> 10 gold. 
Uh, I only have five right now, so that'll be fun. Uh, I do start with the basic five that's normal in uh, any game you play. Um, and we've got four heroes uh, that we can choose from. The competitor cards will choose, the rival shop will choose two, and I will also choose two, just like you would in the special two-player variant. Um, so a lot of these are similar to the two-player variant, and anything that's not is outlined in this little rule pamphlet. Um, so that's us starting here. So we've uh, got that uh, monster laid out. Then I get to choose six cards, like in the two-player uh, special variant. And instead of drafting and passing, I don't have anyone to pass these to, so these are just the cards that I have. I get to choose from these now and see what I want to put in display, what I want to lure my customers in with. So uh, for the heroes that we have to choose from, I have a two with the uh, sort of like ranger icon there, a cleric, and a fighter. So I've got a ro two rogues out. Um, cool. So I've got some options for what I would want to to lure these guys in with. Uh, so let's see. Since there's a few different ones out, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do, yeah, I'm gonna put this healing potion on display. I don't have to put it down uh, face down because I'm not hiding it from anybody. The rival shop can't see what I'm doing because uh, they don't, they're not a person, so <laughs> it's fine. They're doing their own yeah, thing. Yeah, they're doing their own thing. And now I'm gonna pull one of those competitor cards so they've got uh, their competitor card here. They have a few different things. So they've got hearts, and instead of having items for the competitor cards, they just kind of have what would be laid out in their items uh, on their card already. So they would be able to lure in this fighter, and then they have three hearts. So I don't have any hearts on mine, so they do have a higher appeal than me, so they will go first. But they also have a little uh, thing at the bottom, some things that uh, they could trigger right now or maybe later in the game. So for this one, it is each time one of your heroes wounds the monster, gain an additional star. So that's awesome. Each time one of your heroes is defeated, lose a star. So makes that a little more high stakes for me. I want to make sure to wound these monsters this, this round, as I would want to anyway. Great. So they're going to go first. They would have this fighter, because that's the symbol that they have on theirs. So they're going to get that fighter. Um, since they don't uh, really care about gold too much, it's, gold's just going to go into the communal pile right there. And I put that hero face down. And then I get to choose, I have my pick of the litter because I, uh, I chose my healing potion, which appeals to anybody. Everybody wants a healing potion. Um, so looking at my cards, what do I have that's best for them? I think first... Yeah, I'm going to go with this cleric, and I'll have her visit my shop. And with a cleric, I can reduce the price of one item for up to 10 gold when I sell to a cleric. So that's awesome there. And then they would go next. They don't have a symbol for one of these rogues, so they skip their turn. It's then my turn. I do have a symbol for a rogue, so I'll go ahead and choose this rogue here. And they can come into my shop. And then they will get this rogue here, because there's no one else that they can choose from. Their gold goes into the communal pile, and they get based down there. And then, with this rogue, I do get to steal five gold from another player. Anytime that I get to steal gold from another player, I just take from the communal gold. So I'm going to take five gold for the rogue right here, and they get that for them to spend. Awesome. So, I've got a cleric and a rogue. For my cards, I can't use these two, so I'll just put them to the side. I've got a couple options. Our monster has a defense of four and an attack of three. Ooh, my cleric already is looking pretty good. They can definitely defend as of right now. Their hit isn't as strong. I think I'm going to go ahead and sell them this torch for five. Great, and I'll take five from them. And this is my little thing of gold there. So I'll sell them that, and then for this rogue, I'll go ahead with this, yeah, we'll sell this rapier to this to this rogue. They've got a lot of money, so I can take that 20 gold from them, and they'll take that rapier. They'll have a plus two to each of their stats, so a plus two to their attack and a plus two to their defense. My last item that I could sell to them is this magic helmet. It's worth 20, though, and it could only be sold to my cleric, and she doesn't have quite 20. I can lower it by 10. I just get that gold. I'll do that. I'll sell this to you a little cheap. It doesn't help them in any way, but sometimes you just got to get that gold. 
right? <laughs> <laughs> so, awesome. So, uh, they have all their items there. Everything else, I can't really settle them, so I will go ahead and just put all of my cards together with my display, and we'll hold it there. Uh, so into the next step, we're going to start the adventure step. So same as you usually would, I'm going to take an adventure card. This will be for my rogue, and they're sarcastic, a sarcastic rogue. That sounds original. <laughs> <laughs> I have not played one of those characters before, definitely not. <laughs> and then a cleric, ooh, this cleric is selfless, also not so original for this cleric. If the hero is defeated, each other hero gains five gold, so that's rough for this cleric. They might get taken out now. I thought they were safe. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> well, Minus two. I also want to say, just uh, while we're not too into it yet, yeah. I just want to welcome Splice, which hi. is actually my husband. So hello. Oh, hi. Uh, and then I think Victor's joining us, too. Yeah. Hey, Victor. Hey, Victor. Um, What's up? So, yeah. Awesome. Hi, guys. Cool. Okay. Awesome. So that is, uh, that's that step. So we've started the adventure step, and now they're going to fight. Um, so... Uh, the competitor deck does have the quest uh, token here. They, with their two heroes, basically what we'll do is I'll give them a quick little shuffle so I forget which one I put on top. <laughs> um, and then one of them will be discarded as if they were defeated, and then the other will go back uh, and have survived the attack. And for both of their efforts, they'll get to do one wound to the monster. So that's great. So every time I know that there will be one wound from that rival shop. Um, so that's awesome. So the fighter uh, survived. Yeah. And although they would usually gain a star from that, the competitor shop doesn't really care about um, points too much, so they're fine there. And we are going to discard this other rogue. She fought valiantly, but unfortunately she fell. Um, so <laughs> now uh, my heroes are going to take a turn. Uh, I'll go with my rogue first since I think they'll survive. Um, so... Uh, so my rogue has a four attack that does hit the monster, so the bandit captain, so they do get a wound. Um, and they have four shields, so they are going to survive because he's got a three attack there. So they get to live another day. Going over here, their item is discarded, and this is discarded too. And then next is the cleric, who has a three to attack, which isn't quite enough to hit them, and they also lost two defense from being selfless, so maybe they gave up their spot for that rogue. They saved the day for that rogue, but unfortunately gave up their life on that one. So uh, we're going to lose that. That poor cleric. Poor thing. Their items are gone as well. Aww. But since the, I know, but since they were selfless, uh, they do give five gold to each other hero uh, that survives. So they get the five gold from the cleric, and then they also get ten gold from the bandit captain. So I said, kill the cleric and take the gold. <laughs> That's probably what the rogue did, let's be honest. <laughs> let's be honest. I'm going to switch out this rogue's gold for a 20. They had 10 and two, uh, two five-piece copper to make it just a little easier for that rogue. Great, so then now I will replace the heroes. Replace the heroes. <laughs> that feels bad, but it's what I'm doing. <laughs> so, And now we've got a necromancer and a paladin. Uh, mm -hmm. So for the paladin, yeah, I love this paladin. She's awesome. Uh, after the shopping step with a paladin, the hero gains a shield value of six or higher. They also gain a star. So if they get uh, a lot of shields, they also give me some points. Oh, and I forgot that too. Because the rogue hit the bandit captain and survived, I do get two of these little star points. So I get those for myself. Nice. Oh, and because I had a hero that fell... Not only did they not give a wound to the bandit captain, but I get a wound. That's a little variation for the solo mode. Oh. So anytime I lose a hero of my own, not the rivals, um, I get a wound. If I get five wounds, that means I lose. <laughs> so oh, no. this is a great way to start. Oh, also, the... <laughs> There's remember, so many things. So many things. Um, for the monster, uh, in other uh, games, I know it, it's... In other player counts, I know it's different, for a solo play, player count, not only do I lose when I get five wounds, but so does the bandit captain, so do the monsters. They need to get five wounds to be defeated. So, okay. Yeah, so that's important. And then just giving the gold out to the new heroes. And that covers that first adventure round. So now we're going to the upgrade stage. So as a solo player, I can. it's just kind of like that uh, two-player variant, if you've ever played that. Um, I don't uh, only have to choose 
one of these two upgrades, I can choose one upgrade and choose an employee. So those are two things that I can do. I'm gonna dole out these employee cards here and I've got the alchemist who, if a hero has um, either the, it's uh, the fighter, like the paladin symbol or like this rogue symbol, the, uh, either of those icons, it gains a plus one to each of its, uh, each of its things. So to its defense and to its attack. And then there's also the hawker uh, I can sell one item in my display to a hero in my shop, and then I have to discard that card. But uh, And they cost 10. So both of those cost 10. I've got a little bit of gold. I'm going to go with a storage upgrade. Nice. Yeah, and that's 10. And then I'm going to go with the alchemist. So I can do both of those instead. And I still have 20 gold, so that's nice. So next, they don't really upgrade. Um, they just got these cards, so they don't have to worry about that there. So next is going to be the storage steps. So since I do have this one upgrade, I can store two cards and only will need to discard one. So I think, yeah, I will keep my steel sword and my fire scroll, and then I'll go ahead and discard this healing potion. Great. Awesome. So that's the storage. So now we've still got the same bandit. Oh, and he had a thing as well. If the adventure after the adventure step the player with the most stars, it's me. Loses ten gold. So now I only have ten gold. Aww. I was meant to do that after the adventure step, but we got there. We're okay. Great. So now I'm gonna deal a, a new draft of six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great. And my stored items go into my hand as well. This will be discarded to the bottom of the deck for the competitor cards, and I'll draw their new one in a moment. But looking at my items and who we have in front of us kind of covers the gambit of, uh, of things here, so I kind of want to appeal to everyone. Okay. Great. Oh, so many choices. So many choices. And I can only put one item on display. I think I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. Hmm, okay, I did choose this backpack, which although I don't draft the same way that other uh, that you do in other games when you have multiple folks playing, I did draw this backpack, which says during the supply step, if you choose to draft this card, you may reveal it to draw one card from the item deck and add that card to your shop. So I think I will do that. I will show that card on get a new one. Okay. That's all right. Got a little torch. You know. Great. I'm going to go with my same strategy as before. I think I'm going to go ahead and put this, I'm going to put this torch that I just drew on display there so I can appeal to everybody just with this little torch. And I like being the shop that's kind of understated. It doesn't have too much appeal, but We've got hidden gems. I like to understate it. So that's what I'll do again this time. Um, so now I'll get a new competitor card. They can appeal to a mage or to a cleric um, or to anyone with those two uh, symbols. And I must choose either to lose 10 gold or discard one employee card. Oh, I only man. have one employee card, so I would lose all my gold or my employee. Hmm, that's a tough one. I think it's worth more to me. Because I'm going to get some gold right now to lose my 10 gold. I have exactly that, so that's nice. I want to keep this employee. So then that employee would have cost me, I think it cost me 20 gold, technically. Wow. Um, they still get to go first because they have more hearts than I do. That's fine. They can appeal to a mage or a cleric, so I would say they go with this necromancer because it does have both. So they get that necromancer. Gold goes back to the pile, and that goes upside down. And then I... And appeal to anybody because I kind of want some heroes that can either have a fighting uh, icon or a ranger icon. I definitely want to keep to that because I know I automatically get a stat uh, upgrade for both of their uh, things from that. Um, I think I'm going to go. Ooh. I'm going to go with this paladin. Nice. I was going to say paladin. Paladin. <laughs> She's just so cool. She's so cool, so I have to go with her. And she does get that stat because she does have a fighting icon, and I can give her some boosts as well. She's got a good amount of gold, too. Nice. 
So next, uh, the rival shop doesn't have an icon for either of these two, so their turn is skipped. If I get to choose next, I'm going to go with hmm, something. Let's see, let's see. I think either one will do me well. I think I will go with, yeah, I'll go with the rogue again. Yeah, because she's cool. And then she also gets to steal five gold, so we'll add that five gold there, and then they will get the fighter. Fighter, great. So now I'm going to sell them things. What shall I sell them? I can't sell these two magic items because they only have that red symbol, but the rest I can sell to them uh, as long as they have enough gold. So I think I'll start with my paladin. She has a two attack and a three shield, so her shield should be okay, but I said that before and my cleric <laughs> died, so who knows. Um, but she does get a plus one to each, so she actually has a three attack and a four defense, so that should be good. Um, I think I will go ahead and, yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll sell her the steel sword for 10. So then let's change that and I get 10 gold. Um, of 10 gold, yay, I forgot that I was just broke for a minute. <laughs> um, so now they will have four attack and five shield nice. because of my alchemist. So that's awesome. Um, and then let's see, really get some more gold from, from her maybe. Yeah, I will do this, yeah, I'll do the sacred elixir uh, for 10 gold to this paladin as well. Um, wow. And this sacred elixir has a plus one shield, but if they have a cleric icon, they gain an additional plus one shield. So she's got a ton of shields, and it does help her to have extra shield. I know if she has six or higher, after this step, I get to gain an additional uh, little point. So let's see how many she has. Three, four, because of my alchemist. Five, six. Cool. So I'll be able to get an improvement point from her at the end of the step. Um, as long as she doesn't get something bad from the <laughs> adventure deck. Cool. So we'll see about that. Um, we'll give it a minute. So next is the rogue, who has some uh, a good amount of cash. So let's see. Or gold, I guess. Um, great. So for them, I really just have this, which will hopefully just keep her up. Well, she technically has a three attack and a three shield right now because of my alchemist. Alchemist is coming through. And I'm going to sell her this magic ring uh, it's a plus one to attack and a plus two to her shield. Um, that is for 10 gold. So I'll give her 10 back and I'll keep that 20. Um, awesome. Great. So that would be the end of my shopping step. Uh, so now let's get to the adventure portion. Um, so let's see what they get uh, for that. Alrighty. So, okay. Okay. That's exactly <laughs> what I anticipated happening. I so, know. so this paladin's a little reckless. So they get a plus two their, to their attack, which is great. They'll definitely hit the bandit, but they get a minus one to their shield. Won't affect them getting defeated, but means that she won't have six, so I don't get an extra point. Bummer. But that's okay. Aww. She lives, so yes. <laughs> at least I don't get another wound. Um, so that, because that would be a bummer. Uh, next for the rogue, they have three to their attack and three to their, uh, to their shields, and then an additional one and two. They also get, whoo, Plus two, they're fierce. This is a fierce nice. rogue. She hits hard. That's awesome. So then she would now have three, four, five, six to her attack and has a five to their shield. Awesome. Kind of overpowered almost, but I'll take what I can get. So <laughs> next, it's going to be a wound from one of these uh, heroes in the rival shop. And the fighter survives. They keep kind of surviving. They also wound them and they get to live on. It was a necromancer who ironically, you know, became what they, you know, deal with. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then next we'll go with the paladin. She's going to fight. She definitely hits. Uh, she has a four, five, six to her attack. So that's the fourth wound for that monster. She also can defend because she has uh, five, Five because of that minus one for being a little reckless, but she lives on another day. So that's awesome. She's going to go over there. And I get two points for her attacking and surviving. So I get one for each of those. Next, I've got the rogue. Uh, this rogue 
has such a strong attack. That's a six attack. She definitely hits this monster, which will defeat it. And she doesn't take any wounds because she's got a five defense. So she's good there. So she also lives on for another day, nice. which means I do get two of these little points. So now I've got six. I'm going to trade these out for some threes just to lessen all of the little tokens over here. I'm discarding all of their uh, things. So since they all survived and they uh, defeated this monster with five wounds, whoop, that guy's done. And they all get 20 gold, nice. all three of these guys that survived. Yeah. And we'll have a new hero join us. And it's going to be a bard. Oh, we love a bard. And the fun thing with a bard is that when he is drawn from the hero deck, each player must give five gold to this hero if available. So I have to give him five gold immediately just for being a cool guy. He's just singing for everyone. Yeah, yeah. he's great. And he, well, since it's just little old me, I mean, unless the rival deck gives him gold too, I suppose they would. So he gets more gold then. He gets 20 gold. So nice. More players, the more gold that guy would get. If you had a game of six people, that's he would be just rolling in it. It'd be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so, great. So I've got five cards right now. I'm going to do my upgrade, and then I'll store these cards. So to upgrade, hmm, I am going to oh, I get a new employee. Let's see what that new employee is. It's a hired thug at the start of storage stage. Discard one hero card of your choice and replace it though it was defeated. Then discard this card. Okay. Great. <laughs> I think Spice wants us to sing. What's he said, it? He said, with the bard, you have to sing a song, right? I'm not the bard. <laughs> He's a bard. So, no. <laughs> what was, what was the... Oh, no, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Desiree said too, so we're going to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab an upgrade to my display. And I'll also get this hawker. So that's going to be 20. I I, as I did that, I looked down and saw that I have 25 gold. So I'm kind of spending a bit of gold, but we're all right. So hopefully the competitor deck doesn't give me... <laughs> Hopefully you get a lot of the nice employees with yes. that nice money. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Okay, so uh, upgraded, got an employee, and an upgrade to my display. Um, and I get to store two cards. So let's see who we have out here. And the bard has a uh, magic uh, symbol and kind of a ranger symbol there. So let's see. I got a lot of magic items. I said it was worth a shot. <laughs> <laughs> I could try. Yeah, that's fine. I've never played a bard, and if I did, it, they probably wouldn't be a singing bard. Maybe I'd do, like, poems, but I'd have to write a list before I played to make sure I had my thoughts in a row. <laughs> Improvised play poems the spoons. Hard. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I would play the spoons. That would be the best cleric uh, the, bard play option. Play a mad... Or a mean jug. Yeah, yeah, to blow into the jug. Oh my gosh, what other weird, just like the... The washboard? Yeah, the washboard. Yes, that would be my choice. Inspiration via washboard, for sure. Okay, I'm going to... Oh man, I'm going to keep a fire scroll and a staff. And I will discard these other three cards. That's the storage stage. So now, since we defeated the last monster, we get to reveal the next one, which is the Orc Warlord. So he pillages. After the adventure step, the player or players with the most stars must discard two random item cards. Ooh. That's rough, because um, it's always me. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be fun. Uh, um, I am also, uh, I was giggling a little bit, um, because... I said epic recorder skills bard. Yes. Um, we all have at least one song on the back burner on recorder. Well, there, I think. well and the reason why I say that is because uh, his grandma, uh, he actually mentioned it here, told him once that she used to play a mean jug, <laughs> which is fantastic. I love his grandmother. Yeah. <laughs> That's incredible. Um, and then Victoria said uh, she... Uh, she plays a game where their bard currently plays a jug because they lost their loot. I love that. That's cute. 
that's that's crazy too the coincidence of that joke and then yeah. also that being real yeah. in someone's game of course it is i'm sure there were <laughs> just a million bards um one of my friend's games he played a bard who did gymnastics to in- inspire people that's amazing he didn't actually do gymnastics but he would describe them yeah so <laughs> backflips <laughs> yeah right exactly exactly <laughs> that's awesome so now i get to draw six cards five six Three, four, five, six. Okay, great. Did the right amount. And I have my two in storage, so let's see. What do I want to put on display? Still kind of covers not too many cleric options here. I kind of want to get that bard to come over. Yeah. <laughs> and Jug playing bard. Yeah. We'll say this guy, yeah, he's got a guitar, but he also plays a, a mean jug. <laughs> That's for sure what this guy's doing. Great, so I think I will, and I can put two cards on display now. So I think that's what I definitely want to do. Oh, it's so hard to choose from like what I want to sell and what I think will be like yeah. good for them to have. It's such a hard choice. I think I'm gonna go with, even though <laughs> this, this pistol is quite a heavy hitter with a plus four, I don't think I'm gonna sell it. I think I'm gonna put it on display, make it look real nice. And I think I'll also put this fine cloak. That seems fitting for a display case. So we'll have those two. I don't usually put out my best things in front, but today I will. Um, and I'll hold on to these. The competitor is going to now pull two cards. So as uh, we fight more difficult monsters, they get to expand their shop as well. So we've got the first card, cover up half of it. And then the top one is where I will uh, deal with their little note at the bottom it says you must discard two item cards from your hand then draw two cards from the item deck okay i lose two but i also might get two as well so that's not the worst thing that could happen and once again i have two fire scrolls how does that keep happening um so i will discard yeah i will discard this fire scroll and the scale mail since it can only be used for paladin or the fighter yeah i'll go with those i've got other options so then i draw two I've got a leather coat and a staff. Okay, not so bad. I can work with these. Great, and I have five and they have, wait, I have five, yeah, and they have seven uh, because they we're gonna count all of those hearts there. They've got seven hearts total and they can basically grab anybody. So they're gonna go first, they will grab the bard. Kinda wanted to hang with the bard for a little bit, but it's not how things worked out. So he'll lose that gold he just got because he's going to spend it all in that rival shop. I will put him upside down. And then I get a choice from the rogue, the paladin, and the fighter. Let's see. Yeah, I liked that paladin. I'm going to grab that paladin again. Uh, she served me well before. She's a returned customer. So I'll have her come back. Um, great. And then the next, they don't have an icon for a, the fighter, so they're going to grab this rogue who had a lot of gold. She's gonna oh. spend all that gold in that shop. Yeah, um, and she'll go face down here, and then I get this fighter. Sounds good. Okay, so the stat for the orc warlord is gonna be five defense and a four attack. So they both, because of my alchemist, have three and four, so the, the paladin would survive, maybe, um, and the fighter, has four and four, so neither of them can hit right now. So let's see. Um, I have, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna sell this Guandao. I believe that's the right way to say it. Guandao. If not, let me know. <laughs> and that's uh, gonna sell for 15. We I will know, give them. We know how well I'm at pronouncing <laughs> things. <laughs> I am the same way. Um, so that sells for 15. So, just math really quick, sorry. Um, so they get five back, because they had 20, and their stats would now be six and five. So they would survive and hit, just with that uh, weapon. So maybe I'll, I can't add anything else to them, unfortunately, but I kind of set them up for success, so hopefully they don't flake out on me. Um, we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, so I can sell these to the Paladin. Not this one. Okay, I have limited choices. <laughs> so I'm going to 
Yeah, I'm going to sell both of these staffs. They're going to double wield some staffs. And they're both five. Double wield, double wield some staffs. That's they're intense. just like, woo, 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 and it's awesome. <laughs> so they get 10 back, and I get 10 gold for that. They now have stats of three, four, five. So they should be able to hit, fingers crossed, um, four, five, six, and they should survive. You know, the thing is, I set these heroes up for success. I don't send them in underpowered, but like humans do, we all can have our flummoxes and our, our flaws. So let's see what, what they have this time for the adventure step. Ooh, so this is a clever paladin. They get a plus one to their shield. Nice. And the fighter gets a minus one to their shield, which they have, let's see, four, five. Okay, they should still be fine. Great, so they're a little hasty, this, this fighter. So great, let's jump into it. So now attacking this orc warlord, I'll have the rival shop go first. Let's see who survives. Is it the bard? Is it the other one? I don't remember who it was. It's the bard. The bard Ooh. survives. Uh, it's gonna wound this orc warlord and it was a rogue, I forgot. I'm sorry, rogue. I love rogues, so I'm, I'm sorry about that. Um, I don't mean to forget you. Um, great. And then for my paladin, uh, so she has I, uh, so many, so many things. Three, four, five to attack. She hits, that just hits his shield. And then she has the extra for being clever. Four, five from the alchemist. Six, seven shield for defense. So she survives. Nice. Awesome, they did awesome. Oh, and she had seven shields. So I do get an extra point for her surviving. And a point, I'm just gonna grab a three. Because she hit, survived, and gave me an extra, so I get three from her automatically. Nice. Awesome. Great. And then the fighter gets to go. This fighter has a five, six to attack. That will hit this orc warlord. I had more trouble with the bandit <laughs> than we do with this war orc warlord. Um, and then the fighter also has a negative one to the shield, so that'll take away what the alchemist would have given her. But she's got a plus, she's got a four for defense, so she's fine she also survives so then i get two points for that nice yeah and these get discarded great awesome all my items are here yeah gold great so then they get gold for attacking him i guess they pillaged him as they went through maybe that's probably what happened but they've got to rest and get some more gear because they didn't they weren't able to quite take him out very close though and the bard gets some as well and then we get a new hero also. Another thing I forgot to mention. <laughs> For the heroes, I did take out, there's 16 heroes in the regular deck. Uh, in the solo mode, you do take out two. So I've only got 14 here. Like in a normal game, if we run out of heroes, I lose. Uh -oh. So we're okay for now. <laughs> mm. I also get extra points for however many heroes are left. So Ooh. that'll be fun at the end. If I survive. <laughs> you will. Honey. I will do it. Yes. And now we've got the Witch Hunter, which has Inquisition. When this hero enters your shop, you must discard all magic items with at least one heart from my hand and display. That's a little rough. Um, that Witch Hunter doesn't like magic. I get it. I, <laughs> that makes perfect sense. I don't like magic items. I see how it is. Okay, Witch Hunter. You would definitely like my pistol, though. Okay, that's something to consider. Great, and the competitor deck, uh, these are gonna be, since I have multiple cards now, I will shuffle them like I did the others, just doing this long enough for me to kind of forget which cards where, and they go to the bottom. Awesome. So now we're gonna upgrade. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab another employee card just to see what we have. So we've got a burglar. At the start of the storage step, look at the item cards from another player's shop and steal one of those cards, then discard this card. Cool. I think that for me as a solo player, that just means like I would with the money when I take money from another shop, I just take it from the pile, I'll just take it from the item deck, and then discard a card that way. So that's, I still get to use that card if I'd like. I do want to upgrade my storage, so I'll spend 10 to do that. So now I can store three items, so that'll be great. Yeah. And then I can get another, I can get another employee. I'll get the burglar. It seems weird to, hi to hire a burglar, but I guess I'm a little 
underhanded a little bit. <laughs> that's okay. I'll get this guy. So that's fine. Uh, finger disc now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do believe in that. But not for anyone to do to my shop, but, you know, if he's not taking care of his stuff, I don't know what he's trying to do then. Um, <laughs> the rival owner of my shop. Um, awesome. So I could just keep uh, three of my cards. Since I do know that Witch Hunter is out and about, I'm going to be a little careful about my magic items. I do have quite a bit in my hand. I will definitely keep this flintlock pistol. I'll keep this leather coat as well because that can either of those can be used for the bard or for the witch hunter. I don't know what my competitive shop's going to be putting out, but I'll do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and keep this magic ring. It's a risk because they might want me to get rid of that magic ring, but it's a little bit better than this fine cloak and fire scroll. So I will. I'll probably get two more fire scrolls with the way that I'm grabbing <laughs> items. Now. So so we'll see what happens. So that's my storage stuff. I've got three cards because I upgraded my storage. And that is all set. We've got the same, oh, the same monster. And he does a thing. Um, so after the adventure stuff, the player, that's me, with the most, uh, oh, with the most stars, discards two random items. So I would have discarded those regardless. So that's okay. Oh, it would have been random. So I don't get to choose. I have to put them, I'm gonna put them back and I will do that the right way to make sure I do it correctly. Keep reading the monster's little thing. I'm gonna remember it now. Okay, this is this is a bummer. Okay. It's, it's the pistol. I'm gonna discard the pistol then. Bummer. And the leather cloak. Okay. Oh, no. Cool. So I kept all of my magic items instead. That's okay. I might not get the witch hunter. Maybe they won't come to my shop. We'll see. Um, we'll see what happens. Okay. So now I can grab six new cards. That really threw me for a loop, orc. Three, four, five, six. Oh, okay, that's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. Oh my gosh, I got a magic lamp. That's awesome. That's so cool. Wow, wow, wow. But they can get rid of things in my display too. Oh no, I, oh my gosh. And this is my favorite. In all of the practice games I played, it's a cat familiar. And this card stays with whoever I equip it to until they're defeated. So, and they're made of little stars. It's Aww. so cute. I love that one. Awesome. Uh, it's like the little cat on the cover, I think. Yeah, yeah. It is, it is. And for whatever reason, it reminds me of Coraline, that movie, oh, that yeah. book. Yeah. She's a little jacket with the similar stars, and then there's that black cat. So it's like mm -hmm. a mishmash. Love it. Okay. Okay, I really hope I don't get that witch hunter. That's really going to be a problem <laughs> if I do. Um, yeah, that's a real issue if I get that witch hunter. So, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, I am going to put this, ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna put this wine skin in my display. It kind of appeals to everybody. And then I'm going to put, wow, I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> that witch hunter could really throw me for a loop. Um, and then I'm going to put this crossbow. It's plus three to attack. Um, but I think I want to keep it. Mm, I changed my mind. Not putting that on display. <laughs> I changed my mind. Um, I'm going to instead put. Wow. Okay, I'm going to put this magic ring on display. Got three, three hearts there. But. Knowing these competitor cards, they've got a high appeal. So, oh, no, I still wouldn't have been able to beat it. That's okay. Um, so they have uh, six hearts there. They can appeal to the paladins or magic users. So that's great. <laughs> um, and they get to go first. I'm definitely getting the witch hunter. That's what that means. Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, I must discard two item cards from my hand, then draw two cards from the deck. And I get to choose which ones I get to discard. So, let's see. I will do the staff and I will discard, yeah, I'll discard this fine cloak. Um, but maybe this will help me because I know I'm probably gonna get that witch hunter. Cool, these are two items that don't have magic on them. So that should be helpful when I inevitably Get the witch hunter. Um, so they get to go first. Um, they have uh, the 
spider icon and the magic icon. Um, since there's not a combo of both of those, they are gonna go from the left and grab the spider. So that fighter's gold gets spent in that shop. All 20 of those gold, they'll go here. Next, I get to go, oh, maybe I won't have to take it. No, I will. No, I will. Okay. <laughs> cool. I mean, hmm. I'm gonna grab the bard. Yay. Yeah, the bard who plays the jug and the guitar. Um, cool, and then they get to go, yeah, no, I, I, okay, yeah, I, I figured that out. Okay, and then they get this uh, paladin, because they have the fighter icon on there. Spends all of his, all 30 of her gold. Look at her go. In the shop, and I get the witch hunter. Great, cool. So, <laughs> they enter the <laughs> bummer. Um, so I must discard all of my items with at least one heart oh. that have the magic icon. Uh, Wow, 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 wee wow. We don't like, we don't like witch hunters. They're rough. So I do keep this wine skin. Great, cool. And I discard all of the cool ones I just got. The magic lamp and the cat familiar. No. Never say that you like something, it'll go away. <laughs> That's the moral of the story. But I've still got a few things that I can give them. So at least there's that. Um, so I'll go ahead and start with my bard, I think. He, I don't have any magic items now, but I do have two items with the green icon that shows that he is uh, that he has ranger abilities. Because he has that as well, they both can utilize my alchemist. We'll give them a little plus. So both of them will get a plus one to uh, all of their stats. So he's automatically a three and three. So, yeah, I'm gonna give him this, ooh. Oh no, he doesn't have enough gold. <gasps> from the hero deck. No, he doesn't have enough gold, and I can't lower the price for him. Oh, I want to so badly, though. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, I can't sell him anything. No. Oh, no. I can't sell him anything. He doesn't have enough gold, and I can't lower the price for him because there is an employee in the shop who could help me do that. But I don't have an employee him yet. And both of my items that are worth 15, he cannot purchase. So that's going to be a so long to the bard. I'm sorry, dude. I wish I could help you. It's the witch hunter. Okay. I'm going to take this witch hunter's gold, though. So they are going to get... Yeah. I'm going to take this witch hunter's gold. I'm going to take all their gold. It's going to be great. <laughs> so they're going to get this longbow, which costs 20. Thank you. And I wish I could give that gold to the bard. Oh, it's such a bummer. Um, so they get a longbow. They get a plus two to both of their stats as well as the alchemist helping out, giving them a plus one to those as well. So they would now, at this point, have a six attack, which will be great, and a five for shield. So, should be okay. They'll survive. Great, I love them, they're my favorite. Um, <laughs> I'm not bitter against this witch hunter at all. Nope. <laughs> nope, not a bit. So now I'm gonna shuffle the rival heroes, uh, the rival's heroes, and we'll see who survives. It is going to be the fighter. Lives to fight on another day. Oh, the paladin's gone. The paladin fell. Oh, see, they went to another shop and they got lousy things from that other shopkeeper, which didn't help them survive. I'm just saying. I, I've got better stuff. Um, <laughs> and then, oh, we didn't get the adventure cards. Let's see those. Ooh. Yeah, this is fitting, like, metaphorically or something, because the bard got unlucky. Oh, so no. he got a negative one to both of his stats. So if he wasn't already going to be defeated, he super is now. Sorry, buddy. I liked you and your jug a lot, but you don't hit the monster, so that's a bummer, and you don't survive. So your gold's gone, that's gone, and I get a wound because he did not survive. That's a bummer. So that's the witch hunter, my favorite. Um, they have a, uh, they need their adventure card. Okay, they're determined. That makes sense. Uh, so they get a plus one to their attack. They're determined to stay alive they're so you can keep getting... So they can keep messing up my shop. They can get rid of all my magic items. What the heck? Ah, oh, jeez. Um, so the witch hunter has now a total of seven for its attack. It definitely hits this orc warlord, which will defeat it. Um, and it will stave off the, the attack as well with a plus five to their shield. So they live on. Woohoo. 
Um, <laughs> I bet in another context, I would really like the Witch Hunter. It just didn't work for me today. Because I got a lot of magic in my shop at one point, and now it's all gone. Um, but we did defeat that Orc Warlord. I do get two points from the Witch Hunter. So I guess thanks for that. And that Orc Warlord is defeated. Bye-bye, buddy. Um, awesome. So they're going to get some gold from having defeated him. Wow, he, he's got a ton of gold, that Orc Warlord. So they get 30 gold for both that. And then we've got two more heroes. We've got the young hero. She doesn't have very high stats, um, but all of her things are doubled when I give her items. So that's oh. awesome. She's got lots of potential. This young hero. She's awesome. And then, oh, the little mage. I love this little blue-haired oh, mage. Cute. He's so cute. And she gets to part, uh, barter, so I can draw an additional card from my deck if she enters my shop, and then I can discard that card, uh, or discard a card from my hand, try right, and see if I can have something better to give her. Nice. Awesome. So the young hero does have a ton of gold. They've got 15, but the mage has 20. So that's all the gold laid out there. These competitor cards can be shuffled, so I can forget which one was on the top. Hey, there, you got your There's singing. There's a little song. It, it, we just had to wait and it would come out. That's yep. <laughs> too many years of musical theater. <laughs> and so then I get to upgrade. So I'm going to upgrade my display for sure. So I can have three items now on my display. So that's 10 gold. And then let's see what other employees. Ooh, a, mar a marketeer. She's cool. After displays are revealed, you may add one item from your hand to your display. Then discard this card. Interesting. So that would count with my hearts and stuff towards my appeal, right? I would think. Wait, say again. So, because I can add one more card to my display, it'll help me have more hearts to maybe beat this rival, since I they always have so, so many hearts. Yeah. yeah, right? Awesome. Or the hired thug. Who? Hired yeah, I don't thug. really. Man. <laughs> yeah. You already have a burglar. <laughs> I know. <laughs> It's a tough shop, man. <laughs> I'm the seedy part of town. No, I'm gonna get this marketeer. <laughs> I like the marketeer. And yeah, because I like that idea. And I also have my hawker, uh, so I can, if I add another thing to my display, I can then sell one item from my display as well. Uh, I do have to discard both of those cards after I use them, but that's okay. Okay, great, so I get to keep three. Oh wow, do I wanna keep this negative one shield wine skin? I think I'll discard it. I think I'm all right. So I'll go ahead and discard that. Uh, and I have three things in storage. I've got 25 gold. Great. So now we're gonna reveal this last monster. It's gonna be the Vampire Queen. Mm. And she, after the adventure step, the player or players with the most points and stars must choose to either lose 15 gold or discard oh. all items from my shop. Okay, cool. So you wanna <laughs> Beat her. Yeah, definitely. I guess I'd also want to make sure I've got a good amount of gold because I'm not really interested in losing my items too much. It's nice to have a have choices. Um, cool. So I will draw <laughs> six cards. She's great. We love a vampire queen. Okay. Got some magic back in my hand again, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I have, ooh, a mighty elixir. Ooh. Interesting, which could help... The young hero or the fighter, great. Ooh, a creepy ancient relic, which is fun. Oh, a curse. Does it actually say creepy? I know. I, oh, I okay. added that. <laughs> I was like, really? That would be that would, <laughs> and you know, I wouldn't put it past some of these to say, to, you know, to throw that in there. But no, it's on. A, it's a candle on top of a skull, so that's a little oh. that's a little creepy. A little, a little creepy there. Okay. Nothing great. bad could happen from that. No, nothing. Nothing bad. Okay, great. So I think I can put three items in my display to start out if I don't want to use my marketeer. So I'm going to start with that scale mail. It doesn't have a huge appeal, but it's not necessarily something I want to use right at this moment. Hmm. Wow, wow, wee wow. What do I want to do? Man, okay. Get those. And if you guys can hear the rain, 
It's Can raining they? here today in San Diego. It's raining which pretty hard. It's perfect for a solo game inside. Yeah, that's very true. It's very nice. When I was one of the, this past week, when I was playing one of uh, these days, it was rainy and I could see it out my window. It was very. It was a nice aesthetic. Rainy little shop. All the heroes coming in, like yeah. covering their heads with their cloaks, or not, and they want to buy cloaks from me. That works too. <laughs> I'll do that. That one. Just going through and deciding which ones I want to sell. So I'm going to put this buckler and then this mighty elixir. And I think I'm going to keep it there. I think I'll save my marketeer for later. But I'll put those there for now. Um, so I can appeal to basically everybody. I don't have a huge appeal though. But yeah, and they, they will. So that's okay. Okay, so my competitor has a ton of appeal. They just have such a big, fancy shop. It's so big and fancy. They don't have a, a fighter icon on theirs, so they will See, probably... they're just like a big superstore with yeah. like mass-produced stuff. Yes. And then you're like a, this nice boutique. Yeah, a little mom-and-pop shop. Shop small. Shop small. Shop small, guys. <laughs> this is a... Yeah. This game is about capitalism. That's very true. <laughs> so I think because of that... <laughs> My, I would say they're going to go for the Witch Hunter because they have the Cleric icon and the Ranger icon, right? It's not only because I don't want to take the Witch Hunter. <laughs> well, but I think I, you follow order, right? Yeah. Top and, to bottom. And that isn't... But the Cleric isn't any of the top ones. Mm -hmm. It is on the Young Hero, but they don't have the Mage one. So I think Witch Hunter works best. I think so. We're going to do it. It's a solo game. I can do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and they have a they have their little note at the bottom. What is that again? Each time a hero enters my shop, I must discard one random item from my display. Okay, that's fine. See, that's why I don't put super great stuff on my display. And I wonder what that's insinuating. Are people stealing from me? You do have a burglar. I do Bur have a burglar. burglar. The burglar probably has friends. So that True. burglar needs to be better at keeping people from stealing my stuff. I mean, there's a certain crowd they might hang out with. You That's know. very true. Makes sense. They gotta learn from somewhere. Even if they've now started to do maybe some more upright work for me. <laughs> I'm gonna choose the young hero to start out. I love that she has the potential to double uh, the items that I give her. So I, I, I am inspired by this young hero. Great. And then they would go next. They don't have the fighter one, so I'm gonna give them this mage. Boop. And she'll go right here. Great. So I get this fighter. That's a good amount of gold, so that sounds good. Um, great. And for the fighter, at the, I haven't had the fighter yet. They've stuck around for a bit, but I haven't had them. At the end of the adventure step, if the hero successfully wounded the monster and survived, gain one. Maybe I did have them. Oh. Who knows? Um, I, think, <laughs> I think I did have them once, right? No, I can't remember it, because I just remember it being in the competitor store. Yeah. I don't remember. But they've been around for, like, most of the game, I think. I think so. I think so. Anyway, <laughs> let's see what we can get these guys to do. Um, so since her stuff can be doubled, she doesn't have 20. Darn. I wish I had. I know there's an employee who can help me lower prices, but I don't have him. That's such a bummer. Um, but that's okay. I can still make that work. So with only her 15 gold, even though I want to give her something a little better, she does have an icon so she, from uh, my alchemist, so she will get the help uh, to start with two for each of her things instead of one. So she automatically has that. I'm gonna give her, ooh, that's so rough. I don't know if she's gonna survive. Uh-oh, uh -oh. I wish I could give her that ancient relic. Let's see. Hmm. Wow, wow. Got some thoughts, guys. There's only a few heroes left. I can sell her something in my display because I have the hawker. Which is, there is a scale mail, though. My other thought is that I can sell her this war hammer. She would then have four to her attack, but only three to her defense. She wouldn't make it unless she got a lot of help from the adventure deck. Um, which I don't 
necessarily anticipate. So I think since she can double it, I want her to survive this round. So I'm going to grab the scale mail and discard my hawker employee. Thank you. You were so helpful. Thank you for all your work. I'll discard her over here. Um, she was great. She did great things. And I'll sell this scale mail to this young hero. She won't be able to hit pretty hard yet. She's still learning, but that will automatically give her four. And then she gets one from her own and also one from Alchemist. That's six. She will hopefully survive. So we'll go with that for now. And then for the fighter, let's see what I have for the fighter. It's got three and three, but they also can get help from my Alchemist. So they have four to start out. I'm going to go ahead and do... I wish I could give them my ancient relic. That doesn't work for them though. But we'll go with the we'll go with the Guandao again. That's a plus two to the hit and a plus one to shield. So then she has four to each, so it'd be six to the hit, five to the defense. So it's gonna be touch and go for 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 that fighter. The Guandao is worth fifteen though, so maybe I can sell them something else. Let's see. Um, that was 20, it was 15, so they get five back. Wait, math, math, math. 20, 15. We can do it. Doing math live. Do math live. I'm gonna just do sometimes this. Sometimes harder. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, when you're yeah. like on the spot and you know people are watching you. And there's something about the coin, <laughs> right? It's just like a little hard. I was never very good at those really quick multiplication tests either as a kid. Do you remember those? Not great at those. Um, and they still have gold, so maybe I'll throw something else at them as well. Um, because they because they can. No. So maybe one of these. Okay. I'm going to sell them this. Oh, I can't. I already did that. So I can't do that again because I lost no. my hawker. Bummer. Nope. Okay, that's okay. Maybe they'll get something good from the adventure deck. Plus one to the young hero. And this hero gains five gold. She definitely okay. needed that. Ooh, and let's see what my fighter gets. Oh, they're reliable. Plus zero to the shield though. So I think I'm gonna lose my fighter. Um, that's, that's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. So these heroes are gonna go, I'll put these all together. These heroes are gonna go. And the mage survives. She's so cute. Yay. Bye, witch hunter. I didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> it was still random, I promise. So she goes. She does uh, hit this vampire queen, so that's great. Uh, my young hero has a two to attack, so she doesn't hit, but that's okay. Um, oh, I'm sorry. She has a, yeah, she has a two. She has got a two to her attack, so she doesn't hit. But she has one, two, three, four, five. Oh, Six, seven, because it doubles. I was like, wait, I thought she was going to live. She does. She survives, because <laughs> this doubles to four, five, six, seven. She does live to see another day, but she does not wound the vampire queen. So I just get one from her survival for my little points. And then my poor fighter has a uh, five, six to hit, which does hit the vampire queen, but they only have three, four, five, to their shield so they don't make it. They do not make it to see another day. So this fighter is discarded. Oh, I started putting items over here. I confused myself. That's where they go. Oh, wow, I really mixed things up just then. We're good. And then their items are discarded. They weren't reliable enough. Plus zero, not helpful for them. But these guys do live to see another day, so they get some 20 gold. Wow. Wow. So now that young hero is really, they've really got a lot of gold now. So now we've got a demon slayer coming into town. He's a blade master. So after the shopping step, if this hero has a uh, attack value of six or higher, I get to gain one star. And then next, we've got a cleric. And this is charity. Uh, I can reduce the price of one item up to 10, which is helpful because he doesn't have a ton of gold. So he gets 15. And the Demon Slayer, man, he's got 25. Very nice. Okay, 
now we can upgrade. I've upgraded both of my store upgrades with my display and with my storage. So I can't do that anymore. That is finished. It is as big and beautiful as I can make it, but I can get another employee. It's another burglar. I can only have one burglar at a time. So I guess he doesn't cost anything. I'm gonna go with this hired thug. Uh, just cause why not? I probably won't use him cause I don't really want to discard a hero. Cause once I run out, I run out and I lose. Um, but we've got another smuggler there. But I'll do it since I can. <laughs> um, I want lots of employees. I don't have to pay him anything either. He's just around. He just sits in the shop. These will be discarded for the competitor shop. And they go to the bottom. And that's the upgrades. Now it's storage time. I can store three items. And looking at who we have now, we've got lots of magic users out. So I definitely think I want to keep some of my magic items around. Ooh, especially that ancient relic. I want to hold on to that. This cursed elixir doesn't do well for folks who don't have magic. So I still want to keep it, but warily I'll keep it. And the rest I shall discard. Yeah, I didn't get to use very many items last time. Oh, I lose 15 gold because of the because of the vampire queen. She steals 15 gold from me as well. I forgot that step, like always. Ruel says uh, hello and go Heidi. Yay, hi Ruel. I haven't seen him in so long in person, so it's nice to have you in chat. Awesome. Uh, cool. So I've got three items that I am storing. Uh, and we've got the same monster out, so now I get to draft my six cards. Two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. Okay. Oh, I got two heavy shields. Who shuffled this deck? Me? Yeah. It was me. Yes. It was the competitor. No. It, it was my hands, but it was the competitor <laughs> in mind. Um, but, you know, stacking items isn't the worst. They're all kind of, I don't have anything too high priced so that's not so bad and having doubles too I could put them on display um, just to review my employees for myself and you so that I remember what I have and what I don't have um, I have a burglar who can look at the item cards in another shop Ooh, and steal one of those cards then discard this card I'm gonna do that now because when I look in the cards of another shop I'm looking at the deck so I might as well do that now see if there's something good <laughs> okay um, so it's a bag of holding Classic. Nice. Gotta have it. <laughs> if I choose this card in the in my draft, I can reveal it to draw two cards from the item deck and add those cards to the shop. So, kind of doing similar things to what I was just doing, but let's do it. I'm gonna keep that in my hand, discard this heavy shield since I do have two. Also gonna discard the burglar. Thank you, you did, you did a great job, burglar. Thank you for stealing things. For me, I will show my bag of holding, and I get to draw two cards, and I just get to keep them. Awesome. Yeah. That's great. They love it. Okay, so I can put three things in my display, and I can also add another one with my marketeer, so I might do that this turn. Let me keep these, and this. Okay, I'm gonna put this full plate on display. That's a nice appealing item as well. So I like that one a lot. Um, yeah, I'm gonna also put this chain vestment. It's just close. <laughs> You'll think that it's a clothing shop when you first come in. Uh, surprise, it's it's not just clothes, guys. It's got a lot of stuff. Is that um, the name of your shop? Not just clothes. Not just clothes. I didn't think of a name of my shop, but yeah, well, we can call it that. Not just clothes. <laughs> Yeah, I've never been great at naming things, to be fair. <laughs> I named one of my cats Kit, just because it was like, Kit Cat, and I thought Aww, that that was cute. cute. I wasn't very young. <laughs> to... my, our dog's name is Tiki because Tiki. I love the enchanted Tiki room at Disneyland. That's that's adorable. But she is kind of a Tiki. She's Well, she's called Miss Tiki. Ooh, Miss Tiki. I like it. Well, Kit Kat, it's spoiled. not even like I liked Kit Kat bars a lot either. It's a cute name, though. <laughs> it is. Yeah, but I was like in high school. I could have thought of something uh, a little bit better. Oh, actually, there's a lot of magic users out. I don't want to put that there. Um, I, instead, am going to 
you know, it's going to go with the theme, just not just clothes, because it's deceiving from the display, because <laughs> I have three uh, things that you can wear. But I kind of covered my bases. I've got six parts. Uh, so since these guys do use uh, three of them, I might not be able to beat them. But actually, I could use my marketeer and add another one. Let's see. I think it's better to have some of these in hand, especially since I can't dis uh, take anything from my display at this point. So I'm going to leave it as is. Uh, anyway, they have a little note for me. Please, uh, place one additional competitor card from the competitor deck and resolve that card's ability. Ooh, that's rough. Okay, each hero with a cleric icon gains five gold. So that's good for this cleric, but it's not good for everybody else because everybody else without the cleric icon loses five gold. No. So that's going to be the demon slayer. Loses five. And the mage, she fought so hard for that gold, but then that cleric walked up to her and was like, money for my, for my church. And she gave him some gold because <laughs> she can't resist. She, she would feel too guilty. Um, relatable. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So it didn't add a magic symbol to it, so I like that. That helps me a little bit. Going from the symbols on this uh, on my rivals deck, and uh, they've got so many hearts, so they go first. Um, they get this cleric, uh, since that is for sure one of the things that they have. He just got all that gold, and he's going to spend it. So uh, cleric goes over there. I can choose any of these guys. Man, I liked the young hero a lot. My choice right now is between the demon slayer and the young hero because I know which which I, whichever one of those I don't choose is going in my rival shop. I'm gonna get the mage and get one of them. The young hero does have more gold, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the young hero because they also can double everything, and they can take any of my items. So I'm gonna go with the young hero. The rival shop goes then. And they're going to take this Demon Slayer because they do have that fighter icon, the blue one. So they've got that. And then I get the mage. Hey, little blue-haired girl. I like your braids. They're cute. I wish I had the familiar to give her. She would love that little familiar. And when she comes into my shop, I do get to, she can barter. So I get to draw one card from my deck and then discard an item from my hand. Nice. So, cool. So I drew a fancy hat. At the end of the adventure step, if this hero survived, gain one star. I'm going to go ahead and just discard that immediately because it's not super helpful for them. It's helpful for me, but I want to keep these guys alive because um, there's only one hero left. Uh -oh. So I have to keep them alive. Otherwise, I lose. Um, great. But they both, nope. Just one, just the young hero will get the help of my alchemist. They'll give them an extra little potion maybe for free that gives them an extra stat. Um, so let's see. Since my young hero can take basically anything, I think I will do the mage first. And I will, actually I know I'm gonna do that. The mage only has 15 gold. So, gotta be a little careful with her. Let's see. I know. Just looking at the little differences between these guys, I actually think I'm gonna go against what I said. I'm gonna give my. No, I can't do that. <laughs> I keep thinking that I have this employee. I had every other time I practiced. I don't have it though, so it doesn't help me. Um, but that's okay. She only has 15 gold, so I can't sell her that anyway. I. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. This is what I. This is what I must do. <laughs> I will sell her these heavy boots for one defense, and I will sell her this. Mighty Elixir for 10 gold, so 15. She spends all of her money. She gets plus one to each. So now she has four and three. I don't know if this is going to go well. <laughs> but 
She doesn't have a ton of gold. And those were the only items I had for her so that she could afford. So that's what we're going to have to go with. Hopefully she gets maybe some help from the adventure deck. We'll see what happens. Um, for my young hero, I was holding this aside. She is the only one who can afford it as well. So <clears throat> she's going to get this ancient relic for, that costs 20 gold. It doubles for her, so it's going to be 4 plus to her attack and 4 plus to her defense. So wow. she should be able to hit and survive. Mm -hmm. um, for funsies, <laughs> just for little funsies, just to make sure, I'm going to also give her... Yeah, I'm gonna also sell her this cursed elixir, which is five, her last five. And it has on here that if the hero does not have a magic symbol, it uh, gets a minus one to its shield. She does have a magic symbol, so she'll be okay. I've got much more gold now, but this is risky business for this mage. I just wanna double check that I don't have anything that I could help her with. Nope. No, I don't. Aww. Bummer. That's okay. Maybe this Maybe deck will be kind to me. <laughs> so, okay. Wow. She could have hit hard already. She got some extra bravery in that moment. And she's going to have a plus one to her bravery with the adventure deck. And then, ooh, Valiant. Yay. I'm so it's a, <laughs> it's a plus one to both of her stats. Uh, so that, and I also place one of these stars uh, on the hero. The next time this hero enters a shop, the owner of that shop gains that point so if she survives that'll be helpful so for her at this moment then she uh, that adds plus one so she's got four and three then it'll be five to attack she'll definitely hit four and three wait four and three yeah four to her defense she's not gonna make it that's gonna be rough okay <laughs> so the rival heroes can she hit at least she can hit okay that's good yeah yeah, but, but, yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, but it's um, getting close. It's getting close. So, the Demon Slayer survives. That makes sense. Poor cleric. They also wound uh, the Vampire Queen, so that's great. Next is going to be my young hero. She has, she's so strong. She has such bravery. She has uh, the, alchemist uh, the alchemist's help. So that's going to be two. This is double for four. This is double for six. And then a plus one, so that's seven to hit. So she's going to definitely hit this vampire queen. I get a point for that. And then... Mm, you're so close. Yeah, I know, it's so close. And then she has a one from her regular stat, two from the alchemist for her shield, um, and then four, so that's six for her defense. So she survives as well. Uh, so I get another point for that. Um, so these are discarded, and the bravery, while fleeting, is much appreciated. <laughs> um, so then the mage. It's her turn. She has three. I don't get to give her any addition from my alchemist. It does not help a magic user, unfortunately. So she has three, four, five for her attack. So she hits the monster, and then uh, her shield is two, three, four, which doesn't block that monster's hit. So she is going to be defeated. I do get, th this is the one I put on her, but it's the one I get from her hitting it, so I'll just keep it here. Um, but I don't get one because she did not defend herself well. She was a small little thing, poor thing. Um, and then all of this are discarded. Great, so that did defeat the monster, but if I replace the heroes, I am down a hero and I did run out. So what does that mean? <laughs> Did I lose? <laughs> Technically? Is it is it when you can't draw anymore? Or? Yeah, I mean, let me double check, but I do believe that is the case. Let me just double check. Because you, in terms of, like, order of steps, uh, surviving heroes, oh, I should give them their gold. Oh, because you would oh, need no, to they... draw another hero, right? Yeah, replace defeated heroes, which I wasn't able to do. But we de yeah. did defeat the monster. Is it a tie? Does that come first? <laughs> I mean, it's, de it's defeated. Let me double check to see if there's anything else. Once the third and final monster is defeated, the game ends. Oh, so you win. So I won. We yeah, ran out of heroes, but in the nick of time. Because that happens before you have to draw new heroes. 
Yeah, so they're defeated and they're just defeated, right? Yeah. We're going to say that that's how it goes. Jonathan, what do you think? Uh, <laughs> he's going to agree, right? I mean, right? If, that's, if that's when it ends, the last de- the last hero is defeated and the game ends. The last but, monster's defeated. Or, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think so. <laughs> um, so I can <laughs> count my points. <laughs> We're going to say for today that that's how it goes. I can call it a tie, but either way, the monster's dead. So, like, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Um, so then for my points, let me switch these out for some threes. One, two, three. It's everyone's favorite time watching an adult math, do math. 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 <laughs> math. math. math time. <laughs> math time. So we've got four, so that's 12. 15, 16, 17. Uh, it's a point for each of uh, these little star points. And then, oh, and I did get another wound. I'll put it on there for posterity's sake. Um, and then I get one point for every 10 gold. Oh. So I'll switch these out for two tens. So I had four fives. Great. So then it's uh, a point for every 10. So that's just a point. Let me just double check. I think it's two for the heroes. Make sure I'm giving myself the correct amount of points. Hello, King. Gain one for each of the stars, gain one for every 10, great. And then I do also get uh, two points for every remaining hero, which which we have three of, so that's, yeah, yeah, so that's six. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, wait. Yeah, one, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. And then we have little things in this little uh, rule pamphlet that was given to us in the competitor deck. And if I have, did I say 31? Yep. Yeah. So if it's between 30 and 39, I get a three star rating. That's like my Yelp, my Yelp, my Yelp, my Yelp, my Yelp review. It's for this. It's for this. It's <laughs> in this world, it's, it's called it's a Ralph. Called Ralph. <laughs> I like that, yeah. Because <laughs> they're just like, well, I don't know, it's all right. <laughs> they just talk like Goofy or something. Um, so I got 31 points, which gives me three stars, which is not bad. Heroes recommend your shop to friends. Yes. Nice. Some of my friends died, but, you know, some of them didn't, so I guess it's okay. That's that's their review. That's, that's their Relp review for me. But that is going to be the solo mode for Bargain Quest. Thank you guys for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this <laughs> fun little stream. Uh, this game has some beautiful artwork and some really fun uh, different uh, things to it. And the competitor deck here adds a little fun variety. And I always love a game that I can break out and play on my own if I feel like it. Solitaire fans everywhere rejoice, truly. <laughs> <laughs> but that's going to be it for today. Was there anything else uh, that I should throw out there? Any questions or anything, Desiree? Uh, let me double check, but I don't think so. Just uh, people saying it was great to see the solo game. And, and as we stated before, you know, if it's a rainy day like it is here, it's yeah. perfect to stay in and have some fun. Yeah. But that's it. Awesome. Well, thanks, guys, for joining us again. This is Bargain Quest by Jonathan Ying, and we hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Don't forget to play your game. Bye.